Hi guys, it's me Hypers here, and uh, this is a quick video just to explain what it's like to play pro clubs, especially in uh, open lobbies, like well, public matches as they call it. Legit, it's basically three guys. Well, well, it, from what I've experienced over many, many games, as this is a brand new account, so much that's why I'm for, being forced to play open lobbies. But it basically feels like three men who are in the attack being the right wing, the left wing and the striker along with everyone else in the CPUs normally. You normally have a shit goalkeeper as well who has never played goalkeeper in his life. Players who don't know how to position themselves properly. And then people like me who just try and do whatever they can to get a bit of normality into the team and just basically cope for what everyone else lacks. But as you see, I'm just trying to play possession football. Like, that's actually our first proper attack in this whole game. Obviously, you see it's nil-nil, but we've, as usual, you've got the striker who basically thinks he's messy, the winger who thinks he's also messy, the other winger who also thinks he's messy, and basically they'll just go on steel runs for the whole time and take long shots like that constantly. It's every sodding time they get the ball. Long shot, long shot, long shot. There's barely any passing. Like I've only messed up one pass this whole game. And that was because the left winger moved away from it. And you can't even tell he's a left winger. He's, he's, the guy in red is literally the left winger. You definitely couldn't tell he's a left winger by his positioning. I'm just trying to be in in all the space that I can, you know, just to receive the ball, play it on. But what you get is the literally the, the three same players just moving around just so they can get the ball and take a long shot. I mean, look. That's a shot. He was going to shoot there. See, that he's even put me on it as he thinks I can do it better. And literally all three of them all three of them went to the same position for the cross. Just doesn't prove you're greedy players until you actually see them for yourself. And it's every open lobby game. Now, see, I'm trying to get my pro up here because I've got a trial soon for a VFL team and the fact that I'm not on my main account is really annoying. So I, I've obviously got to level this account up. But I'll show you after the game all my stats. Legit. I haven't played badly, especially not for a centre mid who's a playmaker. I, I try to play as a playmaker, I try to go box to box as well. And I, I try to just basically do whatever I can for the team. I prefer not to tackle as much and try to intercept because of that. they're my weak points, but... Well, intercepting's my weak point, tackling's not too bad. See look, again, he goes to get the ball in a position where he knows he can't handle it. Like, that's just si simple, really. Like, there are players in space, yet. Yeah. Look, they just. It's the reason you draw Neil Neil in open lobbies. You don't have teams. I mean, look, he's got the ball. He's not going to pass it. He takes a shot right into the defender. What was the point of me even being there? I'm, a, I'm the fucking cam, for goodness sake. And I'm basically playing like the team's playmaker. I don't want to hype myself up, because I know I'm not the best at pro clubs. And hey, cool. As you can see, there's there's the dodgy goalkeeper that we're about. Oh, yeah, here we go. I might as well just move it out. Oh, hey, look, the goalkeeper can pass more than these fuckers can. And he goes to play it to the guy who's not got defenders around him. Yep, makes sense. This is just what I mean by... The fact that I just want to play with a team. Like, the problem is, I don't actually have any friends online at this current point to be able to play pro clubs with. I'm recording this video literally just to show you my stats to the end of it, in comparison to the others. I had one shot this game. One fucking shot. And you know what that was? That was a rebound. Which, of course, hit the post. Literally, they, the other guy hit the post. I get a rebound on the volley. You know what he does? It hits the post. We had fucking 15 shots. I got a... Well, they had 15 shots, apparently. But I got a 
a 6.1 for no goals, no assists. One shot, which hit the post. Seven shots from a winger, five shots from the striker. The other wing wasn't too bad, in all fairness. I had the most passes in that game. When they didn't pass me, I had to get it off the CPU every single time. Yeah, I still had the most passes. I failed two in that whole game. I don't know how I got two. Oh, the corner. The corner. Dribbles, 10 out of 14. Again, very, very good for a cam. Crosses completed, none. Okay, I'm not a winger. But they failed five. He failed two. Tackles, I still want to tackle. You know, I'm doing my job as a player. I'm doing my job for the team. Like, I, I, no, wrong one. You look at performance. Boom. 12 short passes, 7 medium passes, 1 long pass. Perfect. Apparently I failed no passes, so I got passing accuracy 100%. In all fairness. I got fouled once, which is brilliant for me. Defensive, I was good. I tackled well. I got one interception. I was out of position 10 times. Now that's because I was trying to clear up the pieces... Possession 1 lost, yeah, I understand why I failed, so I lost the ball sometimes, I got fouled, uh, I got like 4 men on me at one point, but, you know, so going back to out position, I was, I was going back into defence, I was coming up as well, I was trying to be in the space, as you can see, I went from box to box, and obviously that's the corner in the bottom right hand corner, but I've been there trying to help, and I've been there for my team, but it just, simply put, I, in comparison, What's the point when your team is so gosh darn awful? I tried my best that game to give them chances. And it's not my fault they fluffed them. I mean, again, the wrong one. I want, I want to go to match for player ratings. So player ratings, they got a higher rating than me. Yet, between them, between the three, well, between... Between the left mid and the striker, they got the same amount of passes as me. Now, between me and the goalkeeper, I got more... Oh, well, no. Between me, the left back... Well, me, the left back and the right back, we got more passes than the, the fucking three strikers did. And fuck it. You could even say, between the left centre mid and right centre mid, they got more passes than all three of them combined. Because they did. Because they were shit. And that's where you get every single open lobby game. And then you don't improve your pro. You don't get better. And it's just the same old stuff every single game. And that's going to go down as a bad game for me. I've got a 6.1. When I played well for that game. I played well. 20 passes completed. 20 passes completed in a game. That is good for a cam in that long ma in those long matches. And that's with a, with a team that doesn't pass to you. I like to aim for about 30 passes a game when I'm playing with my actual teams. But that was good from me. I played well. But no. I got a 6.1. Because, oh, I don't know. I didn't get a goal, but I didn't get an assist. Yes, I played well. I played better than any other goddamn player who was human-controlled. But my out position screwed me up because of the fact that I was covering for my team. This is what's wrong with FIFA. This is what's wrong with pro clubs. See you in the next video.